The true reasons why this sour candy is so appealing are that it tastes unique, comes in fun colors and flavors, and makes one feel good. This probably raises the question, how are they made? Gummies are generally made with a combination of gelatin, starch, sugar, and other flavorings. The components are carefully combined in a dedicated facility to create a soft and chewy texture, bright and vibrant colors, and tangy flavors, making the creepy crawler sour worms a gummy treat and snack. The white coating on the sour gummy worm is a mixture of sugar and water-soluble waxes, which serve as a protective coating and gives the gummy candies their distinctive texture and gloss. Manufacturers create the sweet gummy base of the candy through a process called compounding. Water, gelatin, powder, corn syrup, fructose, and sucrose are added in measured quantities into a vat, which pumps the mixture into a heated 128-foot coiled pipe where it cooks as it travels through the pipe. At a high temperature, gelatin turns liquid, allowing the mixture to flow easily while the heat pasteurizes it. To fight off bacteria, sorbitol, a sugar alcohol, may be added to the mixture prior to heating. The next step is dehydrating, as the mixture reaches the end of the coiled pipe, it pours directly into a sealed tank. Here, excess water evaporating from the liquid is vacuumed out through an opening at the top of the tank. This increases the concentration of gelatin and the sugars. From the vacuum tank, the mixture moves into a machine called the depositor. At this point, flavors are added to the entire mixture ranging from natural flavors like fruit and berry extracts, aromatic compounds like methyl anthranilate and ethyl caproate to acids like citric, lactic, and malic acid. The mixture is then separated into two separate containers for coloring. What comes next after this is starch molding. The popular name for the commercial starch molding machine is called the Mogul. Countless rows of plastic concave worm-shaped molds are dusted with cornstarch, which keeps the cooled, solidified candy from sticking to the plastic. For each mold in the row, the mogul has a pair of injecting nozzles, each of which is connected to one of the two colored mixture containers from the depositor. These two nozzles inject a set volume of the colored mixture from their respective containers at the opposite ends of the mold. This results in a mold filled half with one color and the other half with another color. Once this is complete, the finished row moves forward on a conveyor belt while the next empty row enters. After allowing the mixture to cool briefly, it solidifies into a plain gummy worm. The row of molds is then turned upside down and placed in a vibrating graded surface called a sieve. These powerful oscillations, along with gravity, help shake the worms free. The vibrating sieve helps shake the powder off the freed worms. As the worms are caught by the jolting sieve, the starch powder falls below, where it's collected to be cleaned, dried, and recycled for future use in the mogul. This process is referred to as starch bucking. The dusted off gummy worms are coated with sour sugar through a process called sugar sanding. Directly from the sieve, the gummy worms are fed onto a wire mesh platform and moved into a chamber where they are exposed to a brief blast of steam. In addition to the adhesive properties of the condensed water droplets on the worm's surface, the steam heats the surfaces just enough to make them sticky without being deformed. The worms are then immediately dropped onto a rotating drum containing sour sanding sugars, also referred to as sour crystals. It's important to know that in creating these sour crystals, table sugar is dissolved in water and mixed with citric and tartaric acids before being heated to near boiling temperatures. The solution is allowed to cool slowly, creating crystals that are subsequently ground to the appropriate grade and added to the rotating drum. After rolling the worms in the drum for a few minutes, they become fully coated with sour sanding sugar crystals. As the worms cool, the bond between them and the crystals solidifies. Finally, coated worms are removed and packaged.